In this lecture, we are going to study about indentation and formatting of C++ programs. So what do we mean by indentation and formatting? So it basically deals with the way we write our programs. So it is not the syntax of the program, but the way in which we manage the spacing between the lines, the way we manage the spacing between the different statements and the different things that we have in a C++ program. So we will see what is its importance and how to follow a proper indentation and formatting while writing C++ programs. So talking about indentation and formatting, C++ programs are largely free format. So we are saying that C++ programs are largely free format. Now what do we mean by this free format? Free format means where we put the curly braces, indentation, comments and new lines usually has no effect on what our program means. That means the way we format our programs and the way you space different things in the program like braces, indentation, comments, new lines, all these things does not have any effect on the working of our program. The program is still going to get compiled and it is going to run in the correct way. So for example, the curly brace so we know that there is an opening curly brace at the beginning of the body of main. So we have seen the main function in our previous lectures and we saw that after writing the main function that means the return type and the name of the function that is main followed by the parameter list which is enclosed within parenthesis we start our main block using an opening curly brace this one. So this could be placed on the same line as main or you could place it at the beginning of the next line or you could place it anywhere else you like. So it does not matter where you place this opening curly brace. So this is an example showing that C++ programs are free format. But the only requirement is that the opening curly must be the first non-blank non-comment character following main's parameter list. So the only thing that we have to keep in mind for this example is that whenever you are writing the opening curly brace, we have to make sure that when we are writing the main function, after the parameter list, which is those empty parentheses that we saw, after that the opening curly brace must be the first character that is there. So it doesn't matter where you place it, but it should be the first non-blank, non-comment character following the main's parameter list. So otherwise, that means if you write something else instead of this opening curly brace, then it will violate the syntax. So that is a small example that we are taking here. But as we said, the position of where you place it, that does not matter. So that is why we say that C++ programs are largely free format. So now the question is, if we are saying that it is free format, then why do we need to discuss about indentation and formatting? So although we are largely free to format programs as we wish, the choices we make affect the readability of our programs. So the main reason why we are focusing on indentation and formatting is for the readability. That means when you will be reading your program at a later stage or if somebody else is going to read your program, if you follow a proper indentation and formatting, it will be easy to read, understand and if required modify your programs. So we could for example have written main on a single long line. So when we write the main function, we can write the main function in a single long line if we want. So that is not going to give any error. It is still going to work fine. So such a definition, although legal, would be hard to read. So though it does not throw in a syntax error and though it is perfectly legal to write it in that way, but if you want to read that program, it will be difficult if you write it on a single line. So here the most important thing to keep in mind is the readability. So it is for readability that we are going to focus on indentation and formatting. So let us take some examples to understand how the readability is affected if we don't follow proper indentation and formatting. So here is an example which is a program that we have discussed in the previous lecture that is to print the number of times consecutive inputs have occurred. So this is a program that we have taken in the previous lecture and we are going to take it as an example here. So if you see here the program is written and if you look at the margin here, everything is written on the same margin. That means it is starting at the same margin. So here we have the header and then the main function is also just below that and then this opening curly brace denotes the starting of the main function. So this was what we were talking in the example previously. So you can place this opening curly brace here or you could place it on the next line or you could place it after two, three lines. It doesn't matter. It's still going to work. So here we have placed it just after this parameter list which is empty and then we have these variables declared again just below it. Then we have this if statement and the if block starts from here and where does it end? You have to carefully analyze to find where it ends. Actually this is the ending of the if. So it starts here and it ends over here. 
So it is actually becoming a little difficult to find out where the block is starting and where it is ending. I know that it is starting here. Now in order to find where it is ending, I have to search for the closing curly brace. Now if you see here, there is one closing brace here, there is another one here, there is another one here. Now which one is the right closing brace for if? You have to read it and be very carefully analyzing the program in order to find that out. Why? Because everything is written on the same margin. So the indentation is not done properly. So even the while statement you see, it starts here and then it is supposed to end over here. This is the ending. But you see it is difficult to figure out where it is starting and ending, though it is possible. So we see that the readability is poor in this case. Okay, so let's take one more example. So here in the second example, just take a look at this program and see if it looks familiar. So if you have noticed, this is the same program that we have taken in the previous example. The only thing is that I have written more things on single lines in order to compress the program and because of that it is looking smaller now. But it is the exact same program that we saw in the previous slide. So here if you see the main function it starts here, then the variables are declared, then the if statement starts here and the if block also starts over here and then we have the while here and here the while block starts and you see it goes on like that. So I am putting more things on a single line and because of that it looks like a small program but it is the same program. And here let's see how is the readability. So I want to find out where is the if block. So if starts over here. Now how do I find where is the ending if block. There are so many closing braces. One is here, one is here, one is over here. So I have to very properly analyze in order to find out which is the closing brace for this if block. And similarly for while and else and all these things. So we see that in this case also the readability is very poor. It is even poorer as compared to the previous example. But keep in mind that this program is perfectly legal. It is not having any syntax errors and if you run this program it is going to run perfectly without any errors and it is going to behave in the same way as it would behave with a properly formatted program. But the only thing is if you are reading this program let's say you have written this program now and then after a few months you come and you look at this program again. So you may not understand very properly or you may have to do a very keen analysis to find out what are the things you have written here. Or if you are giving this program to a different person and if he wants to read it he is going to find it difficult to figure out the things here because it is not formatted properly. So we see that it is basically for the readability that we are focusing on indentation and formatting. Okay. Now let us take this program and write it with proper indentation and formatting and see what are the difference it makes. So here in this third example, this is again the same program but I have written the program now with proper indentation and formatting. So let's see what did I follow here. So here we have the header and the main function and this starting curly brace denotes the starting of main. And then we see that I have ended the main over here. So I can very clearly see that my main is from here till here. It is very proper. And I have given some space after this curly brace and everything inside main is maintaining that space. So you see we can draw a margin here and you can see that everything inside main falls inside that margin. Okay. Now you see the variables are declared and here we have an if statement. Now the if block starts from here. So whenever I am starting an if block, I am coming to the next line and opening the curly brace which is for this if block and then again you see I am giving some space over here. So I start the if block here and I end here. So I can easily see that if is from here till here. Similarly for while, you see I open the curly brace in the next line after giving some space and then I close it over here. So the while block also becomes very clear. Similarly the if that we have inside, it is having just one statement so it is simple here and even the else you see I start here and I end over here and we know that these statements are inside the else block. So you see it's very easy to identify things here. So let's say that I am trying to read this program after many days and then I want to find out or analyze something within the while statement. So where is the while block? I can very nicely see that while is here and it starts here and it ends here. So it is very properly formatted and because of that the readability becomes very good. So here we have good readability. So whether you are reading the program yourself after some time or even if somebody is reading this program newly for the first time, it is very easy to understand what are the things, what are the blocks, where are the things present and everything. So we see that by focusing on indentation and formatting, we can have good readability for our programs and it is always a good practice and I will encourage you to follow a good indentation and formatting in every program that you write. 
So whether you are writing it on paper or whether you are typing it in a source code editor, always follow a proper and consistent indentation and formatting so that it will help you in the long run to write clean code and to make your code readable. Okay, so we have seen the importance of indentation and formatting. Now the question is which formatting rule to follow? So I have shown you the rule that I followed like I wrote the curly braces below the function or the if block or whatever it is and then I gave some space and then I was writing the statements inside the block. So that is one rule that I followed. Now which is the proper rule to follow? So actually there is no single correct style but there is value in consistency. So there is no hard and fast rule saying that you have to follow this particular format or this particular style. But the important thing is you will surely be rewarded for keeping the consistency. That means you can follow anything of your choice but be consistent. Follow that for every program and that will make your programs readable for yourself and also for others. So the important thing is when you choose a formatting style think about how it affects the readability and comprehension. So just think that if you are writing it in this way, when I am looking at the program, is it easy to read? Is it easy to understand? That is what you have to keep in mind. And once you have chosen a style for yourself, use it consistently. So once you have chosen a proper style for yourself, follow it consistently in every program that you write. So in that way, you can have a proper indentation and formatting and it will help you to write clean code that is good and readable. So with that, I hope you understood the importance of indentation and formatting in C++ programs and I hope it will be an encouragement for you to follow a proper and consistent indentation and formatting in every program that you write from now on. So I hope this lecture is clear to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.